work, energy, and power. Yes. Hey. Ah. Ah, by a kind of a shan, I don't understand. Ah. <laughs> What's your name? Green. I got 100 on my dash, got 200 in my trunk. They ain't in the grab bags for my trunk. Like a cracker on the top of my butt, like a dumb trunk. It's your dog. Okay. Firstly. Sure. Firstly, we will start again. Danichi, make sure that you have your Danichi in order. Another thing, make sure that you know the definition. Work energy theorem, guys. You can't. Yeah. The, 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 the <laughs> equation, the formula, the formula is the, is definition. the definition. Yeah. Just, just write what the yeah. formula is That's saying right. there so that you get your marks. Yeah. Network and done is equals to, equal to change, change in kinetic energy. energy. Okay. Please. Also, then now in terms of working that out. So, working at what are the uh, the forces that are acting on the object, and so you get the work of each and every force to get the working net of the object. So that is one long way that you could do it. But there is also um, then you have to check if your the work done is it done by a non consecutive force mm -hmm. or or not mm -hmm. so so that you apply the right formula as well sure. so yeah i think usually um abashana get lost in terms of when to use work net is equals to changing ek and the non yeah, uh, work, work done by non consecutive force okay. yes yeah so uh, 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 Please, please clarify for our channel. Away. I want to elucidate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so for me, I think the first thing that I'd want to encourage, draw a free body darker. Ah. I know you are yes. sometimes not asked, so it's important for you to draw a free body darker. Right? Why? Because it will help you clarify what are the forces that are acting sure. in that diagram, right? Or in that scenario. If you've got an inclined plane, please remember the examiners now prefer that you show gravitational force and not what? its components, yes. which means FG parallel and FG perpendicular, yeah. right? On the diagram right if they ask you to draw a free body diagram however you can have fg parallel and fg perpendicular for yourself for the sake of calculations right if you don't know what i'm talking about please just go and watch our video uh, in fact it's one of my uh, <laughs> best <laughs> videos yes uh, i think it's the one that gave me the prominence yeah the, you know on, exactly. on YouTube. Exactly, you know? um uh, because I found a way to explain work, energy, and power in a in a very very easy way. Sure. So please go and watch that. Um, so my advice to you is please just ensure that once you've resolved all your forces. Now let me just get into the uh, formula. Work done is force multiplied by displacement. displacement. The cos of the angle. Yes. Right. Now that cos of the angle, I always say. That angle theta is the angle between direction of motion and the force in question. Let me make an example. If my motion is going upwards, let's say it's an inclined plane, the object is going up an incline. Where's friction acting? It's opposing, right? So in that case, if they say work done by friction, it will be frictional force, it will be the displacement, right, on the incline, and the course of the angle Remember, direction of motion is upwards. The force is acting vertically downwards. So there's an 80 degree angle between okay. those. Right? Uh, did I say 80 degrees? <laughs> yes. So 180, 180 degrees. degrees. 180 yes. degrees. Uh, and as a result, uh, please, you'll say cos of 180. And if the force as well as the direction are in the same direction, then that would be cos of zero. Yes. Right? Uh, so that's very important. But you've already touched on the issue of using the work energy theorem. And uh, I think what I'd like to also touch on is in the absence. Now, I'm going to make this very simple for you. In the absence of a frictional force and, and, 
end. I'm emphasizing end. end. <laughs> the absence of frictional force and an applied force. Yes. It means that there are no external forces. Right? Yes. So in that case, it means that mechanical energy is conserved. You can use the principle of conservation of mechanical energy. So if we don't have friction and if we don't have an applied force, then we can use the principle of mechanical energy. Yes. Uh, I don't know if there's any other thing there that we need to conclude on, but we will touch on them. But master class. Master class. Master class. Master class. Okay. Master class. All right. Um, moving on to, I think, a problematic one would okay. be electricity. Okay. Some of you are still unsubscribed. Bruh. Shares has been telling me that over 55% of you have not yet subscribed but have been enjoying the content. Please, why don't you go ahead and do the right thing? Click on that subscribe button. Let's go back to the lesson. Yeah.